I used to think I gotta be a nigga. Cause I'm black and I'm poor. But I don't believe that. Not anymore. But I remember being a child with my mama and her niggas would do her wrong. My mama would sing that same old song. Sometimes she would sing it with tears in her eyes. Sometimes she would sing it after a sigh. <sighs> niggas and flies, niggas and flies, niggas and flies. I never asked her what she meant. But I always wondered why my mama would compare a nigga to a nasty little fly. For years and years I wondered, what the hell was she talking about? Took me to go to prison to finally find out. See, with time to sit and think on what led me to the cell, it was all them things that made me a nigga that put me in living hell. <laughs> See, flies are hypnotized by shit. They love it. But the difference between niggas and flies is Flies only like shit that stink Niggas like all kinds of shit Now I'ma tell you what kind Just give me a second thing Niggas like expensive shit Niggas like fast shit Niggas like cool shit Then you got niggas in different places That use different words for the shit That put smiles on their faces New York niggas call it fat shit Philly niggas call it hot shit D.C. niggas call it tight shit Down there the southern abanical grammar's what they use to spit So the things they don't like They call Bama shit Now where I come from If a nigga don't like something It's called bullshit Or fuck shit Or nut shit And if a nigga do something to you And you ain't willing to stab him Kick him Stomp him Or kill him it's called pussy shit, chump shit, or bitch shit. See, the thing at the number one spot is this. It's all ignorant shit. Because nigga shit is ignorant shit. Another thing I learned from jail is that it ain't only the brothers. Niggas come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. You got white niggas and black niggas, short niggas and tall niggas. Ignorance makes them all niggas. Now to remain a nigga takes a whole lot of bravery cause being one makes you a prime candidate for modern day slavery. See the government's laws ain't hard to figure. They're designed to make it illegal to be a nigga. That's the game's rules. The tools they use are lack of books and nigga schools. Welfare and free healthcare to create dependent fools. America, the United States are nigga warehouses. Cause they breed niggas. Prison the United Gates on nigga warehouses and they need niggas to fill them up. But what bother me is a nigga act like if you a nigga that you should be proud. Like you should stand on the roof and yell it out loud. But why should one be proud of being a nigga? Cause you sell drugs to your brothers and sisters and pull triggers? Or maybe it's because niggas use sperm to make bastards in life. Fatherless children become niggas from lack of fatherly advice. Therefore, niggas make niggas. Or maybe a nigga should be proud because a nigga lies and a nigga steals and gives useless excuses like I needed that money to pay my bills. See, I got a $500 a month car bill. I got a $200 a month weed bill. I got a $300 a month cell phone bill. After I finish paying those. I don't have money for my children's clothes, for my light bill, my water bill, my cable bill, my gas bill. For nigga, these problems are heavyweight because niggas ain't got their priorities straight, ain't got food for the house, but got a fresh pack of $10 cigarettes and a nigga wouldn't be complete without a nigga. See, Nigette watch TV instead of watching her kids. Her answers to math problems is, get your ass in the bed. Tell her to get a job and she'll get very upset, enjoying the luxuries of the welfare check. More and more kids mean more and more money, but her children still go to school looking bummy. The food stamps buy choke sandwiches, the rest is traded for cash so she can buy some tight jeans to show off her ass. Well, you go, huh? One of them niggas killed your son to get your hair done. One of the others sold crack to your mother. Why'd he do that? To put that $800 coat on your back. Bring that to a nigga's attention and she'll feel bad, but use a song for a front and say, you got to use what you got to get what you want. Well, what you want. 
Well, what I don't want is, is to be a nigga anymore. But from a nigga to a black man is like fighting a war. Happy to be niggas that call you names and beat you down for trying to change. Instead of niggas and flies. Maybe mama should have said niggas and crabs. See, because every time I try to get out the barrel, a nigga reaches out and grabs me and tries to pull me back. But you could take that leg, nigga, because I ain't having that. See, I learned that being a man comes with paying the price. So that leg you use to pull me back is the leg I sacrifice. I want to be a black man, not a nigga man, understand? Because nigga men cause misery while black men make history. And nigga men always make excuses for why they put their necks in nooses. Black men stand up like kings. A nigga will fall for anything. That's why I'm taking the stand. I ain't a nigga no more. I'm a proud black man. I'm a strong black man. I'm a wise black man. Understand? Fly niggas.